tonight, the fluoride fight continues and it heads to Tavares. Some neighbors say that chemical, they want it out of the water. It's part of a larger debate started in part by Florida's Surgeon General recommending cities do away with fluoride in drinking water. Fox 35's Hannah McKenzie was at tonight's city council meeting and joins us live tonight. So Hannah, they were supposed to vote on this. What happened? Well, John Luann, this issue is so divisive, not just when the, within the community, but across city council. Some council members made their stance very clear tonight. Others said they needed more time to make a decision and a vote. The fight over fluoride continues. Let's give our children a fighting chance for a lifetime of dental health. Ethically, this is indefensible. We are being medicated, poisoned without our consent. Tavares, the latest city to consider removing the chemical from their drinking water, following the Florida Surgeon General's guidance to go fluoride free by the end of this year. It is public health malpractice with the information that we have now to continue adding fluoride to water systems in Florida. I think his use of the term public health malpractice is a disgrace absolute disgrace. I am embarrassed as a professional that another professional would stand up and publicly make such a statement. A dentist for 27 years, Dr. Alan Hayes, says fluoride is instrumental in building healthy enamel and warding off tooth decay. Hayes pushing the council to stay the course. My question to them was, if you're going to take fluoride out today, are you going to take chlorine out tomorrow? I think not. Wednesday's vote tabled to give council members more time to research the topic. Out of Lake County's 14 municipalities, to varies only one of three to fluoridate the water. James Harvey hopes the council will flip. Are cavities worth brain problems? I think that's what we need to weigh here. Harvey claims studies citing detrimental neurological side effects far outweigh the benefits of fluoride. I have no problem with people wanting to use it themselves or use it topically. It's this ingesting into our body aspect where it's going to our organs, going to our brain. That's the problem. This is a hazardous waste chemical. The city's utility director said tonight it costs around $30,000 annually to fluoridate the water. And a good chunk of that money goes toward maintaining and replacing equipment because the chemical is highly corrosive. This discussion and a vote will pick back up at the next city council meeting. That is December 18th. Live in Tavares, Hannah McKenzie, Fox 35 News. Because the main concerns are the health concerns and the informed consent. You know, we shouldn't be adding anything to the water that treats someone. That's medication without informed consent. You know, this isn't a new idea about people saying that it has health problems. This is something people have been saying for decades, um, from bone brittleness to cancer to neurological problems. Now a federal court has confirmed this. What all the crazy people were saying for so many years, now the Surgeon General has said based on that, Let's go ahead and take it out of all water systems that they order. So I think we're just seeing the domino effect of what's about to play out. Yeah, I'm confident that things will work in our favor. The Health and Human Services Director this incoming, or FK Jr., between him and Latico, um, I think that's going to show people that, wow, we were just sort of repeating safe and effective without looking further. And now that we're looking further, we see that it isn't quite safe or effective. And I'll just add, I have no problem with people wanting to use it themselves or use it topically. It's this ingesting into our body aspect where it's going to our organs, going to our brain. That's the problem. This is a hazardous waste chemical, not naturally occurring fluoride that we're adding to the public's water. It needs to be removed. And I believe you also talked about the corrosiveness of it. This is not like a, a gentle chemical. Right. I've had um, utility employees tell me directly that they don't want their people dealing with it if they don't have to because it's so dangerous. If you uh, look up the chemical spills of this substance in, in other states, it is hazmat trees show up through the concrete. So, I mean, just right there, common sense would tell you, why are we adding this to the water? You know, if I give you just a little bit of bleach in your water, is it okay now? I don't want any bleach in my water, and I don't want any hazardous waste chemicals that are going to be narrow toxin by a federal court either. Even with the benefits, again, we're, we're talking about, you know, uh, they're not doctors. Why are our city council members deciding what's good for our teeth or not? I think we're just going down that road. And leave it up to the people. You know, 40, 50 years ago, you couldn't supplement fluoride as easy as you can today. Now people can do it in many different ways. So if they want to, they can. But this one-size-fits-all government mandate thing, it just has to stop.
some of the dentists that spoke today said, you know, well, the topical and gel, things like that, they don't actually do what needs to be in the enamel of the tooth. Well, that's a great recommendation if people want to take that upon themselves. But I think forcing it on the public when people have no idea that there's all these studies out there that can cause harm, you know, what if we've been lowering the IQ for children for decades? That's pretty concerning.